So I've the very well welded up there and then I left two off cuts. So I welded them there together as well. There are just two short bits that were left in, on the two lengths I cut already. And she's just a bit too short. Luckily down, two of them together. Fit the middle, so I'm just gonna cut that. 42. So just gonna mark that up there now. 42. The next job to do is we have a hole here in the parlor, so we're just going to fix this here now. So as you can see, we have the whole floor redone up to here. So I've just marked around that little square there and I'm going to cut this square out then so they'll be able to give the hand in from the outside and open up the latch so new latch for that we will so I'm just going to take that sheet back off and cut that out and then we'll stick it back up put the new fast run and then we'll be done so we'll just take the sheet off we'll only have two sections holding it up and then we'll cut that out that's the door finishing now so we just cut a slot out out there so we can get in at the fastening in the master so Come outside now. See the door there now. That allows you to be able to come in there, pretty handy. The only problem I have with the door now is it used to be a, a wooden door frame. We never had this thing. It used to be a wooden door frame. Now it's just straight to the wall. I don't know if it's the wall or if it's the fastener. When you're milking now, it kind of vibrates and it makes a bit of a noise, but that's not a major deal. You get over it now. But That lens is still there cut now, so he's using the chop saw. Blade's gone a bit small, so that's why I had to flip it around a few times. Now we're going to weld that onto, onto a beam out here. So this beam here is eight foot, but there is two and a half foot. So 
Our trainer's only eight foot wide, long, that's why, so we have to give him the cut, the eight foot lens, and we just weld them back together then. Not in the so. I'm just gonna get this up to a level part of the floor now, which is not the easy bit. And then we'll just together. Then I'll cut an angle on top of it, put a bracket on top, perhaps the roof then. So just gonna just get these together now. Okay, so I have the two lens of metal now lined up there now, so I have my wedge there with two pieces of wood there to keep them straight that way, and then I have a little long level here put on top of it. And she's She's straight along that way as well, so I'm just going to run a big weld ball across that there now. I'll keep shaking as I go, make sure it's just so straight. I'm going to get the welder set up here now and we'll weld this. Yeah, so that welds are now, but no, they're not, they're not the greatest welds, but I'm already getting going big welding, so they'll be in the ground anyway. I need to put an angle on, on the put a bracket on top, and then paint the bottom of it. I measured the angle of the roof using the sliding bevel here, just marked it out there in the beam. So that's the, that's the angle there now. So then we're just going to weld this pay hung here. We just drilled four holes there using the pill drill. Screw that up into the timber end. That should pay in place. So just using the magnetic manager just to keep it sit up a bit. So I'm running a bead weld there along all the corners. And then this will be done then and re ready for painting. So, first of all, I'll get these posts in. Let's get this post in, and we're going to attach it onto the beam across the roof. That should hopefully make it strong now before milk can see them. And then we'll just put gates around the top of the hitting against it. So, I'm just going to use the jackhammer here now. Jackhammer this out. Go down about two and a half foot.
painted the bottle of blue beforehand, so it's gonna make it all blue, but so paint the bottle with a bit more protection before we put it in, so. I have, I have her just slightly screwed in there, I'll show you later, into the roof, and then pour this in here now, so. I'd say it's too low to do it, so. post concrete in, in and out just gonna get that wipe off before it sits in there now so just i left it down a bit off the ground because i'm gonna dig a ball around here as well so just, just have to another one of these posts to go over there and then we're gonna leave a doorway in the middle of it and we'll weld these weld this here straight to that so and put another truck there then hopefully we'll fit four cows so we bought these these are four by fours so they're kind of eight foot so i just have to weld weld another one and then weld it back on top at the angle of the roof, so that's not screwed in fully yet. And then four screws there. So just to make another one up there. So I'm gonna leave it there for that today's video. So we've got the one post in there and we've got that door made over there as well. So I'm hoping to get the other post welded up, welded up in this video, but first pipe kind of the latest bit. So in the next part of the video, I'll get to show you me welding up the other post and frame, and then we'll have to weld up the frame, the door in the middle. So we have, we have all the iron there. We're gonna put a door in the middle there. Let it be all sheeted, so it'll be a sliding door we can go in and out. We used to, we used to be able to come in and out here, but just to build it up. I won't say we're building that up, but I won't say that in this video. That'll probably be, that'll probably be next year's job. Once we get that, that was, as you can see at the moment, there's a bigger wobble in this frame, but once we build that up to them, it'll be a lot stronger. So, I'm just gonna leave the video there. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and any comments leave down below. So. If you see anything a little better with the frame, leave them down below. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck.